Welcome to Two Old Guys Going to the Vintage Film Channel. <laughs> this is where uh, weekly Art and I review another fabulous classic TV show or vintage film on the Vintage Film Channel at uh, YouTube, Vintage Film Channel, or yeah. VintageFilmChannel.com. Uh, a great collection of classics that have been rescued by Grace and uh, re she doesn't like the word restored, but she does a whole lot of work to make them bring them back to oh, yeah. as they, original quality as possible. They've really been cleaned uh, up. And it's not just vintage films. It's also vintage TV shows. So it's, yes. it's lots of great stuff. Classic stuff. So Art and I decided what we wanted to review this week was a game show. And there's lots of game shows on Vintage Film Channel, which you should explore and have mm. fun with. Uh, some that I've never heard of, but we picked Ernie Kovacs' show. And I didn't even know that Ernie Kovacs had a game show. He was famous for his morning show. And, and, and Art, you later were a big on, fan. Like, uh, later on, uh, skits that he did, um, uh, like a variety show. Yep. But here we go. So this is what the opening of the game show looked like. And um, to called Take a Good Look. And that these are some of the characters that he was famous for. Um, and that's Ernie Kovacs, famous also for his cigar. Right. And to show you how old his show is, his show was sponsored by Dutch Masters Cigars. Right. I don't know if any, any, any cigars or cigarettes allowed to... Yeah, also, by, the, by the way, when you go to some of the other game shows, uh, Raleigh Cigarettes was one of them, and they're... It, like like in the, the early days, you'd have a sponsor who actually owned the show. So their yeah. logos are all over the place. Sure, sure. So there's Cesar Romero. He was one of the um, panelists on this show. Right. He always had two celebrity panelists plus his wife, Edie Adams. Was Carl, Reiner. Carl Reiner. Yeah. A very young Carl Reiner uh, was the second panelist. And then, of course, they would introduce uh, Edie Adams, who was a beautiful young actress, but very, very funny uh, comedian as well. And she was married to Ernie Kovacs. And she would be in a lot of his skits. She did some very funny stuff, which I remember. Um, but she was also glamorous actress and part of the panel. And the, the format of the show, quite frankly, wasn't any different than a lot of game shows. It's today. like, uh, what, what's my line would be a yeah. more modern version of it. Sure, sure. They introduce a guest who's uh, was in the newspapers for something famous, and uh, the panel has to figure out uh, what this guest did as opposed to who he was. Uh, you know, why was he in the newspapers? And by the way, this guy, we're not going to, we won't spoil it for you. This guy he was really big time famous, but because there was no internet in the day, uh, unless you lived in the city where he was famous, uh, you wouldn't know about Jimmy Fox, a great baseball uh, star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold the thing. So, and then, and the panel would get clues. How to, you know, and then they could ask mm -hmm. questions. But the interesting thing about uh, the Ernie Kovacs show is that the clues were in form of a skit, of some kind of a, one of his characters mm -hmm. or the skit, and and the whole point of the the clues really was a, a showcase, for Ernie Kovacs. That's what people watch That's for. Per Person tells puzzles. If you're fun. ever a Kovacs fan, <laughs> this just makes you laugh watching him. Yeah. I don't think anybody cared about the, the guest or how much money they won or anything like that. Right. This is what people tuned in for. Oh, by the way, the amount they won was like, I think the big, the top prize was like 200 bucks. It was, yeah. a, it was a big well, deal. It wasn't the $64,000 question, but right. it was still an excuse to have a game, I guess. Right. Uh, so anyway, the skits were all kinds of things. Art, go to the, fast forward to the next skit about, let's see, my notes say 943. Mm. So this first skit is a uh, one of his characters. And they this, this skit would be talking about something that was a clue to who the guy's personality was. Here's another skit. And uh, even without the sound, you can see that it's going to be pretty silly, right. you know. Um, and then um, I think the last skit is at 1440, Art, if you want to fast forward to that. Yeah. Um, but in between, 
uh, the skits, they would be asking questions and they might figure out who the guy is or they might not. Uh, and it really didn't matter because people tuned in for the skits. And this is what Kovacs was famous for. He was a, a really inventive, a very creative producer and writer, as well as a kind of a character. Yeah, and, and by the way, John, John Orr told me, I can't talk about this, but I've been a great fan of Leonard Kovacs since I was a little kid. And I was a member of his uh, early eyeball fraternal and marching society, EFAMS. And uh, he used to have all sorts of great, he, he invented a, 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 a musical group with uh, uh, people in, in monkey uniforms called the Nairobi Trio. Oh, but yeah. in any event, this is, all these skits are typical Kovacs, very creative yep. and funny today. Not haha, -ha, super funny. Some of them are, but some of them are just, I mean, he's just a funny guy. Yeah. Uh, it was, a, anyway, as a game show, it's kind of average, you know? <laughs> no. And if you're like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. Similar. John, this is so below average. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's, it's shtick. But it but was the, an early, that's what we had as early game game shows. I mean, this was very, very typical. Yeah, it, it really was, yeah. I guess. Uh, there, And how, I don't know how many uh, game shows Grace has on the Vintage Channel, but I would say probably a dozen. Right. Uh, and they're all, they're all shows that I've never heard of before. They're all classics. And it's just fun to watch them and uh, watch, let's say, in this case, the panelists. A young Carl Reiner. I can't believe that guy was ever that young. Uh, and Cesar Romero, if you remember him. Mm. He always had white hair. I don't know why Cesar Romero always had white hair. He was never a young man. He was. He, but he, anyway. He, I think the movies gave him white hair and it stuck. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, great, uh, great fun watching this show. I watched a different episode than this one. I watched one with Hans Conrad in mm. it. And if you remember, Hans Conrad was a great character actor. And in that show was a guy named Ben Alexander was on the panel. Right. Ben Alexander. And it took me a while to figure out who's well, Ben wasn't Alexander. Wasn't he a cop? He was a cop on a TV yeah, show. He, he, was, he was Joe Friday's sidekick on Dragnet. The original one. Before uh, the Porter, original Dragnet. Before yeah, Porter so came along. Ben Alexander is the actor who played right. whatever his name was. Uh, anyway. Wonderful nostalgia to watch these shows. Um, so I hope you I hope you watch Vintage Film Channel and look for uh, take a take a good look, which is the Ernie Kovacs game show. There's a couple of episodes to watch. I'd watch them all. They're just so much fun. Uh, and of course, it's not about the game; it's about the skits. There's Edie Adams, and it's about actually Vintage Film Channel, both the YouTube channel and the uh, website. Uh, are about nostalgia and about igniting. I hadn't thought I hadn't thought about Erna Kovacs in the last couple of years, and when I came up here and I saw it, it just uh, just thinking of Percy Dumpton just makes me want to roll over. And so it's great memories. And um, you know, while we still have some facility to remember, it's great to go out and see a lot of these old <laughs> films and TV programs. We'll anyway, soon, I think that's a, that's a wrap from uh, two old guys sitting in the lounge watching so. uh, stuff. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.